What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 banger. It's 6pm. Oh, oh, Silver Stars was yesterday, thank God. I didn't do something, I didn't do, uh, there's something I didn't do anyway. I didn't do the uh, SBCs that were there. Yes, yeah, so anyway, 6pm, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying FIFA and your time off as well. Nothing too special in packs. No token in packs, which means SBCs should hopefully be pretty nice. -y. Uh Upgrades. Nothing. Icons. Paolo Maldini base icon. Great defending. Good pace. Dribbling's actually a bit meh. I, like, I, I think this icon is a little bit... Um... A little bit hyped, if I'm being perfectly honest. Like, I know he can play centre-back, which is sensational, right? But I think this SBC is a little bit a little bit hyped. It's only six segments. Bronze and silver, 83, 84, 86, and 87. That is actually a very good price for what in FIFA 23 is quite an average defender. And I'm sorry to say, and I know people are going to disagree with me, and I know people are going to be like, oh, you just love to go against the grain or whatever, but no. Low strength and aggression... Great defending, really poor dribbling stats, decent passing, decent pace. Like, it, he's just not incredible. Um, we have also got Maxim Hullet. They didn't make him Hullet gang. What idiots, man. Just make him Hullet gang. God damn it. You've already given them a 78 physical. Uh, what else did we get? The 85 double upgrade is back. The A1 team of the week is there. Marking matchups for another token again. Oh, that might be it. The daily login is back. The winter league upgrades are there. That's it. Oh, is it the same stats as base Hullet? Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. So marquee matchups for a rare electron players pack. Villarreal against Valencia for your token as well, guys. All right, make sure to go and get that one. Lance versus PSG. For a mixed players pack. Man United versus Bournemouth for a jumbo premium goal pack. Not bad. And Inter versus Napoli for a prime mixed players pack. Not bad. Nice and easy to complete that one as well. And then a rare Electrum at the end. And Maxime Hullet. Did they give him four star, five star? Three star, five star. Six foot three. He can play center mid, center back and center forwards. That's amazing. He doesn't have any traits. Right, he's got good stamp. Is it actually identical? Let's, we'll have a look at his in-game stats compared to Hullet's in-game stats. Uh, rude boys. It's an 84-rated squad with a Dutch player. Um, an 84-rated with a Dutch player. Bear with me just one second. Where's uh, Footbin? Here we go, Footbin. So, new players. Well, it is it? I can't believe... I'm actually a little bit disappointed with the amount of content they've given today. Paolo Maldini is all right. He's upvoted. Like, like, don't get me wrong again. And I, I know people will like mostly disagree with me. He's only 440k on the market. I think the SBC is much cheaper. Um, with a shadow, he is a 90 rated centre back with great defending and great pace. That dribbling is a little heavy. Four star weak foot is nice. I think I might go an anchor instead to be fair. Yeah, great pace, great defending, and a much bigger strength and aggression boost. But I, like, he, he's still worth it, right? I think Maldini is still worth it, but he's nothing compared. Um, let's uh, reset this. He's nothing compared to his other cards. Five extra pace on that Maldini. Oh, no, it's five less pace on that one. Three extra physical. And this is the one, the big boy one. Six extra defending, five extra physical, and only one less pace. Four extra dribbling as well. They're like the big ones, they are. This Maxime Hullet, the first thing I want to do is compare him to Hullet. It is the same base stats. It's the same three-star, five-star. It's not the same in-game stats. That's really peculiar. In fact, it is completely different in-game stats. Fair enough, right? Fair enough. He has better links. <laughs> you know what he does. Um, they have given him 22 pace, 46 shooting, 39 passing, 12 physical, including 26 stamina. 
22 defending and 30 dribbling. I love the fact he can play centre back, centre mid and centre forwards because you could, with reason, play him in every, every position. Try finisher on him. Positioning, finishing, shot power are brilliant. Dribbling is good. He's an 88 rated, uh, 88 rated like striker, right? You put a shadow on him. I like that as a centre back. Six foot three, five star weak foot, 93 acceleration, good sprint speed, really nice defending. Like, all right, physicals. But 6-3 is whatever. Very good passing and very good dribbling for a centre-back. I think that's the best place to play him is in that centre-back spot. Maybe an anchor. Nah, it's not enough pace there. Might go for something like the engine as a box-to-box. -box. It's a cool card. I mean, listen, for an 84-rated card, right... No one's using him. I, I don't agree with that, man. Like, is it, look, it, it's a 33k rude hullet. And again, with regards to links, right? I think a lot of people are missing the, uh, missing the boat on how good these links are. First of all, there are so many Netherlands players or Dutch players. Okay, Van Dijk's way expensive. Berghaus is there. Non-icons as well. Cal, Delict, Vinaldum. That Bergwijn, if you did it. Gakpo, who's dirt cheap and very good. Um, Klaassen, if you did it. We've got Cliver, Frimpong, Depay. Like, there's just so many. Even the icons as well. And then in the Eredivisie, much the same. In the Eredivisie, I wish you could, like, filter out SBCs and objectives. But you could still get these guys. Pedro Marquez, Wijndal, Brobby. Bergwijn's still there, of course. Gakpo, again, Savio's still there. Like, there's so many cool links. Yeah, he, he's Rude Hullet's son, which is nice. Um, but there's only one token today, which is a bit uh, a bit interesting. And it is another centre midfielder as an SBC, but I personally think... Yeah, Taylor Booth, the SBC as well. He's actually all right. I personally think, although this is 50-50 in downvotes and whatnot, I personally think this is a decent card for fun, right? Not every card has to be like break the meta bank. I, I think the fact that it's Hullet's son and they've made him identical to Hullet. Um, I, I, th I just think that's like pretty cool. Oh, okay, I think it would have been a little bit better if um, they had given him the exact in-game stats as Hullet as well. But the fact that they've given him... Uh... Oh, there's two tokens today. I'm just going to check the loading screen. There's nothing on the loading screen this time around. Which is too bad. Um, the Daily apparently has a token as well. Let's go and have a look. Oh, I want to see if they sent some, uh, some new stars as well. Where is the Daily? Let me see the two, uh, two things here. No, there's no token in here. It is just the Winter Wildcards daily login upgrade. Bro, loading screen. Yeah, there was nothing on the loading screen, bro. Unless you're talking about this one here, which today obviously is the 50k pack. There's nothing in that one either. There's only one token in, in marquee matchups. That's it. Uh, and then do we have any new moments? No, that was it. That is too bad. So, guys, there you go. Um, one new token today in Marky Matchups. Marky Matchups, Maldini, and Hullet. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.